Thank you so much for asking that question. It's so important that we prepare our families' expectations mm -hmm. so that they know what uh, to uh, what they'll see when they get to the hospital. First of all, by way of background, we know that we have many, many dedicated healthcare workers, physicians, nurses, and other frontline workers who have dedicated their entire professions uh, and devoted their uh, care uh, to our patients. And so with that as a background, understand that hospitals may need to restrict access, uh, restrict access to visit your family members for a few reasons. One, to help spread, help prevent the further spread of uh, COVID to either other patients, uh, to you if you're a visitor, and to our healthcare workers, and two, to help preserve our protective equipment. Of course, those are very valuable resources and anyone that enters a hospital, especially a COVID uh, uh, area, would need to be protected. And we need to reserve those resources for the healthcare workers. So in order to protect you, to protect everyone, uh, many hospitals across the nation have restricted visitors. There may be certain specific uh, cases where visitors are allowed. For instance, birthing mothers, uh, may often be an exception. Uh, care at the end of life may be an exception as well. But please know that the healthcare workers, physicians, nurses are doing everything they can to care for your loved ones. They're holding hands, they're providing comfort care, they're bringing food and everything uh, that our, our loved ones would need. As far as advocating for your uh, uh, loved ones, always ask questions. Mm -hmm. you know, anybody can ask a question of the physician, but be uh, expect uh, and set aside a time to do that. Know that it can't be on demand. Uh, often it needs to be pre-planned. So you can set an opportunity to have a, a discussion with your uh, loved ones, uh, caregivers.